All right, Horror Fest continues, but this is going to be in a little bit of a different direction here. And this is something I've been wanting to do for quite a while, actually. I mean, I've played the first System Shock game, I've played the Enhanced, and I've played the 2023 make, so now it's time to play System Shock 2. I think for the sake of a uh, argument here, we're just going to do easy because this is not because I want to, but because this is for time purposes. Look at you, hacker. A p p pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? There she is. Showdown. In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In she her never had a mind to begin with. Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. This is a recollection of the first game. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems. Nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek. Fast. Revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Probably come up with less uh, stereotypical uh, adjectives. I'm sorry I don't have subtitles on, but this game doesn't have them. All right, so here we are. Center UNN recruitment facility. Please watch your step when you're in the train. The ground shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street. And the first thing you're going to notice is that this is all running on the shafts. Yeah, the dark engine. Hang on a second here, I gotta, gotta fix a couple things here. Um, are there any? Let's try this. Standard FPS, huh? Yeah, I gotta fix a couple of things here. Um, here we go. I sh should have done this before streaming, but... I, mean, I think the vast majority of the controls here should be just fine. I'm not gonna get too uppity-uppity about it. Um...
know, I'm surprised there's no run button on this. I'm very surprised. be the sneak button so to speak here but that's i mean this isn't thief this is system shock two different games maybe i might have to do this instead nope didn't mean to do that Let's see if this makes a difference the answer is not really so, I'm not surprised there's actually no uh, sneak button to begin with here, so. Step into the grab shaft to proceed to the street level recruitment. Here we go. Actually, I might do this also here. Cyber interface. Oh, this train. Hang on, I'm gonna check out something else here. Oh, that's really. And like I said, one thing I'm kind of surprised is that there's no, uh, no, uh, what can we call it? Subtitles. is identical to an actual military grade cyber interface. Now, let's try it out. Move the mouse. See how it changes where you look? That means you're in shoot mode. Hit the tab key. This puts you in use mode, where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Open your primary MFD or multifunction display by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. I think I am. This display shows your strengths in various areas. Okay, this is not when exactly ready, how you start continue, training press here. Press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Try it's changing like between or modes until you get the hang of it. Follow the red path. Now we're gonna have to try this again. Okay, take two. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN recruitment facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the end of the hall. Step into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. To pick up some basic to, to pick up some basic skills you'll need to get straight to the advanced service. training, but uh After this cyberlink booth. Inside you'll learn the basic if you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced lessons provided here. Here's where you make your choice, so Oh yeah, this is where, where uh you enlist in one of the three branches in the yeah, military depart. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station. All right, all right, wannabe. 
If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced I mean, I have the basic idea down here. Advanced training will familiarize you with the three key areas of military service. Weapons training, you know, technical just, training, and I think it'd be a better training. idea if I just uh, approach the Cyberlink booth of your choice learn to as train I go, in that area. I already know how you this finish works. training in the three areas. Proceed directly to the recruitment you center. Your three divisions. You can either be in your OSA, Navy, and the Marines. I think, if memory serves me right, they're. I know they're different, but how different are they? Hang on, just give me one sec here. Alright, so I think for the sake of the stream here, I think we're gonna go with the Marine. For the sake of this stream, we're gonna go here for the Marines. It's been ages since I've played this game, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Here as a Marine. Welcome to Space Station. And like I said, I'm really sorry that I don't have so subtitles here, but this game doesn't have them. Legume. Better still, so I'll try my best to explain as weapons. we go. But now it's time for the real deal. Your tour of duty will consist of four postings over four years. The Corps demands a lot of you grunts, but the Corps is generous. You get to choose your own postings. Okay, so this, I think we can only pick one. Um, I'm certainly not going to pick it. It's either going to be endurance or it's going to be strength. I think strength means weapons deal more damage. Endurance means you take more hits. Um, I think we're going to go with the survival training first. And I think agility refers to... Uh, Dodging attacks or makes it easier to dodge attacks? I, I don't know. I just do not know. All right, so February 12th, 2112. Your stint at the IO Survivor School is finished. You managed to survive your year there. Barely. The encounter with a descendant of a Citadel Station Tiger Mutant puts you in the sick bay for a month, but now you're one tough Marine. <laughs> you better be tough. Because yeah, the Marines uh, don't uh, mess around. Dummy right, ammunition, so, live ammunition, moving targets, stationary targets. And you have to do four of these here. The automated um, asteroid ore facility in the JM. This is all weapons base here. Tour duty um, aboard the Antigua should let you pick up the automated asteroid ore. Dummy ammunition, live ammunition, moving. I mean, as a marine, it's highly unlikely targets, you're going to be a cyber targets. efficient, the cyber affinity and training and energy facility efficient. has enough hardware energy, uh, to form the heart of it. So I think we're just going to do standard weapons here. I mean, the one nice thing about System Shock 2 is that there is no right or wrong choice. And there I go. Oh, and while you're at it, please bring back some food. We're starving. Time to get out of Fort MacArthur and back to Wake Island Station. You got to pick up and refill more ammo casings than you can count. We even got to occasionally play the live target and expert exercise. That's nice. Still, you can't spend a year at the MAC without learning something. You picked up a good amount of standard weapon seal and even impressed some of the MAC's technicians. Oh, I bet. Here's year three. One Look repair. On air service, Very man. handy. One modify. Trading stations. One maintenance. So it boils down to repair or maintenance. Um, 
when things are dull, maintenance means a lot of standing around, weapons last a little bit longer repair when i think repairs bad, either makes it cheaper to repair weapons or uh, something but i think because weapon oh spoiler weapons break in this game firearms in particular melee weapons do not um and yes, you are going to see this, so... I think what we're going to do is we're going to make our weapons last a little longer. The UNN Secretary General's Modify... Office full staff yeah. of armed guards. Modifies hit or Thanks. miss with that one. And like I said, I have not played this game in ages, so you're going to have to bear with me. February 9th, 2114. Get back to Wake Island Station pronto. Your tour of duty at the UNN Home Office is finished. After a year of practice on the Honor Guard, and you look sharp in a uniform. The uniform we can't see. And you're a lot better at keeping your rifle in tip-top shiny condition. If you haven't been bored much longer, you might have been tempted to take pot shots at the tourists. Still, the maintenance skill might come in handy someday. Oh, I know it will. history soldier does it become part of history or be history shuttle a138 you have clearance for landing on the von braun in shuttle bay 2 welcome aboard soldier and one thing i'm definitely looking forward to is the remake i am so looking forward to it five months later you want to just be on von braun near tau set, set it be and i think get the chance to read the rest of it As you can see, the Von Braun's not exactly in the best of shape. Oof, whatever's down there looks lovely. Soldier, this is Dr. Janice Polito of the computer ops staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteered to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come up to Deck 4 to meet me. Deck 4. Can you remember that? No. But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Now the fun begins. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable, dude. Move! Take cover! Watch out. I'm getting strange readings Watch from out. that I'm radar dish outside the window. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's, it's become, become unstable, unstable dude. Move! Move! Take cover! Take cover! And so nanites is our uh, currency for this game. I said I'm gonna need to take some time to read. You're gonna notice this is a lot more RPG like than in the first game. If it gets too loud, let me know, and I'll turn it down. The entire sector is depressed. 
pressurizing and the blue vacuum shield won't last long. Get through a secure airlock before you're sucked into space. The entire, the entire sector, sector is depressurizing and the blue vacuum shield won't last Get long. Get through, Get through a secure, secure airlock before, before you're sucked into you're space. Into space. Move, Move it! it. Alright, alright, Jesus. Actually, on second audio, I'm gonna turn the audio back to where it once was. Yeah, that's much better. Maybe just a smidge lower. Perfect. Okay, so we need a card. There it is. Okay, so that is a module. Oh no, that's an email. Great, I got to change the access codes out of Cryo A again. I got, got nothing better to do. I think Grassy just likes to make me work for me. I sent the new code to 45100. That should be easy should enough be easy to remember. We? We. Seeing him, a we're gonna be seeing a lot of him later. So, warning: decompression event imminent. Please move immediately to cryo recovery B. Decompression event imminent. This power cell is dead. dead. Cell. There should be a recharger nearby. Just use it, and it will recharge all the power-driven devices in your possession. After you've recharged oh, yeah. the cell, this. plug it into the auxiliary power. Good. We managed, managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. I just uploaded to use some cybernetic modules. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade you units in this area. There are four types of units in the entry. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stay at side weapons and strike. But use these, use these modules carefully. They are hard to come by. Yes, that is so very true. They are extremely hard to come by. But they are worth it. And we got our currency right here. MFD. The MFD button on your lower right display contains information about your character. It has four major areas, one for one for each of the categories of character growth. Stats, tech, combat, and psi. With the exception of the psi screen, these screens are informational only and let you know your current skills and abilities. The stats screen also shows your current OS upgrades, and the tech screen displays your installed software. The psi area is a bit more complicated. It has five tabs. Each represent a different tier of psi discipline. You may click on any psi discipline that you currently know in order to select that discipline. That is where the OSA comes into play, but we'll worry about that another time. The next time you use the SIA, that discipline will activate. Left info tab. The lower left info tab includes a count of how many cybernetic modules and nanites you have. A button to call up your map, map, a button to call up reports on anything you've researched, a test you've on, and a query button, which will give you an expanded help text on items in your inventory. Left click on any of these buttons to access the functions. Alright, so yes, that's another crucial thing about System Shock 2 is that you're going to be doing a lot of exploration and a lot of research, so you're going to have to get used to it, whether you like it or not. Oh, that's so much better. That's a way out. Oh, it's just loops de loops. I found some more. Software. Software helps you perform the various technical tasks such as hacking, repairing, and modifying. Higher levels of software provide greater bonuses of these operations, both increasing your chances of success in any given node, or decreasing the number of dangerous nodes. The exact details on any task will be indicated in the MFD when you attempt to perform it. Medical hypo. Computer hacking. There are numerous devices to hack on board. Security systems, replicators, keypads, and more. 
Each hack attempt consists of a specific number, of specified numbers of nanites. To try to override one of these systems, simply click on the hack button in the items MFD. This will bring up a hacking screen, which will detail information about your chances and allow you an opportunity to back out before spending the nanites and attempting to break through the system security. Your chances, your chance of failing to modify any given square cannot be lowered by below 15%. The hacking interface itself will display a grid of squares and require you to light up three squares in a row. Red squares have dangerous ice on them, while cyan squares are safe to hack. If you are unsuccessful at modifying a cyan square, it is darkened. If you are unsuccessful at modifying a red square, you have critically failed the attempt. Critical failure can cause a wide range of bad effects from breakage to activation of security alerts. Oh yeah. So yes, this game, there is a lot more to know about. You also have a lot more to go on, too. So unlike the first game, you've got to be up. This game requires a lot more caution. And also resource management as well. I think I was just up at the medical bay. It's your Psy Amp. But like I said before, Psy, I never really was crazy about the Psy ability. There are five tiers of Psy disciplines. You can learn more psionic disciplines by enhancing your Psy skills in an upgrade unit. To use a Psy discipline, equip your Psy amp key, then select the discipline in the Psy MFD or in the bottom window in the bottom right of the screen. Press the left mouse button to fire the selected Psy discipline. Um, right. You don't have anything, so we're just going to keep the wrench on hand. Inventory. To see your inventory, you hit the tab key, which I already knew about. You can only carry a num limited number of items, as visually indicated by the number of squares in your inventory. The stronger you are, the more items the inventory you may carry. You may move items around freely in your inventory and may equip them by dragging them to the weapon armor implant section on the right. And you may drop them by dragging them into the 3D. To drag an item, click and hold it. I already know about this. Need I say more? picked up. Okay, so that's for the science sector, but we can't go there yet. Yeah, I think I was in the medical bay earlier. Or was I? No, I don't think I was. this. And I think at some point we will get a flashlight. Equipping weapons. You may equip weapons in one of two ways. First, you may drag a weapon on to your weapon equip slide near the upper right part of your inventory. Second, you may use the top number of keys on your keyboard. Each weapon is type is mapped to a specific key from tilde to equal, including the slash key, regardless of whether it's on the top row or not. Repeated processes of a numer number of key cycles through numerous copies of a single weapon type. Armor and implants may only be equipped by dragging them to the appropriate slot in the upper right of the inventory. Yeah, I get that. All right, perfect. Good. All right, so I got rifle slugs and a side hypo. hypo. Sector. But I gotta go back to the medical bay here because I don't know if I've been in here yet. Oh, yes, you also take damage when you fall. So, okay, so yes, I have been through here before. Never mind. I thought it just looked different for a minute. So, this is tech weapon. Um. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention here, these things. This gets extremely pricey, so even on the easy difficulty here, it gets very pricey. So as I was saying before here, this is how you uh, upgrade. You know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till I get some more 
upgrade points here, and uh, we'll go from there. Anyways, let's get to the science sector. Nope, not going that way. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. That's our very first enemy. Is a way you can research this stuff. What's wrong with that? Online. I like Elvis Presley. If someone with a real I finally had to pull the voice subsystem me. offline. What would happen if somebody with a real agenda got into him? Do you really want to know? I don't think you do. That insipid computer Xerxes All right, so shut down the elevator as well. You can that insipid computer, computer Xerxes, Xerxes has shut down the elevator as well. You well. can transfer the power of the underground dead one, which will get the elevator up and running again. But you can't use the elevator to get down there. Wait, there's some kind of maintenance access right on this hallway. You can use it to reach deck one. However, it's locked and Xerxes is hiding the passcode from me. Dr. Watts should have the code. He's probably in the crew substation section. Grassy has the key to get in there, but he's in the medical substation, probably near the biopsy lab. Now get to the medical substation and find Grassy. Grassy has the key to get in there. Alright, so that's our next stop, is the medical substation. Sensitive electronic equipment. Oh, right. Alright, um... Like I said, decision making is crucial in this game. Now, remember how I said I was going to ignore uh, upgrading? Well, now I don't have a choice. I have to uh, pick what I want. I have 12 of these, so... Um, I think for the sake of that camera, we're going to try hacking up. There. We're going to get two levels of hack. So I can hack the cameras. So I forgot to mention that, uh, just like Thief, there are cameras in Thief also, and if you get spotted, your enemies will be alerted, so. Let's try hacking this. Initial difficulty 75%, hack 2 minus 20. All right. Nice. So that's how the hacking works. You have to do three in a row. Nice. System offline. Cameras are deactivated, but you only, but you have a short amount of time for something like this. It's about a minute and fifty-five. That's one minute and fifty-five seconds. You security can destroy the cameras too, but avoid or destroy any security cameras you see. You can have That's security like computers to power down the cameras ah, too if you're junk. good enough. But don't botch the job or you'll set off the alarm yourself. Oh, I got another uh, Your research. To the very sub you might find out the terms on research. By either right clicking on this object in your computer, 
or drag it into the research MFD, you may research the item. Uh oh. Somebody's coming after me. Ah! Who's there? Hello? Is anybody there? Oh, you. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, there I go. God. Alright. So we're back. Just something that this game really needed. Because in Thief you can block, but this game you can't. Which is a bit of a disappointment. So, like before, we're going to have to come back. We're going to do a hack for this. Oh. Oh, right. You can actually uh, get food and drink in this game, too. Forgot about that. Oh, right. All right, well, I'm going to head back down. I didn't fool me that time, so nice try, boys. Oh, right. All right, so hold on. Boy, this stuff, like I said, gets very expensive very fast. to uh, get going. That insipid computer 
already know where to go from here. I don't need to be reminded again. has control of the ship's security system. Avoid or destroy any security cameras. All right, you. Where are you? You can hack security. You interrupted me once before. Cameras too, if you're good enough. I want your. But don't botch the job, or you'll set off the alarm yourself. You'll butt over here. Oh, there you are. And there's a monkey in here too. Cheeky little, cheeky little monkey. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention you'll be fighting monkeys in this game too. As if this game can't get any weirder. All right, so I got a new email coming in. Animal rights. Ever since we researched Tau Sets, the lab monkeys have been acting strangely. Nurse Losa paper one out of the page to be brought in for vivisection and the rest of I mean, the entire group stood up on their legs and howled. I mean, the entire group stood up on their legs and howled. This wasn't just a random display. It was a protest. Who can argue? I mean, I would side with the monkeys on this one. Okay, the antitoxin is for poison, which we'll get to, which we'll see a little bit later. So as of right now, I don't think any of these enemies have a venom or poison or whatever. Oof. Perfect. Oh yeah, we're also going to be countering radiation as well, so... We're going to ante up the uh, realism factor a little bit here, won't we? About five seconds, and then the cameras are gonna go back online. Security system online. Thankfully, we're on the other side, so I'm not too concerned. Ah, what are you? Get away from me! Jesus Christ, dude! Stand back! I think I got hypodermic needle. Slowly regenerates health over time, just like a thief. And yes, I am going to be comparing this game to Thief a lot. Wear protective clothing. No, you think? The most common rule in any research facility is to wear protective clothing. That's why PPEs were invented. Door, so Please make your selection. Hi there. Please make your selection. <laughs> need a hack skill of three. Okay, so we need research and development, so that's another spot we're gonna have to go to. Like I said before, even on the easy difficulty, this game can get pretty hard. And I don't have a firearm with me, so... Yeah, it doesn't recover much. Bro, containing explosives. Well, I don't have a gun, so I can't do anything at this point. Hmm. Like I said, the medic bay is the next stop. Just like in the first game, it's also very easy to get lost, even though I have the mini-map up. Can I destroy the cameras? The answer is... I think you can, but you need a firearm to do it. Oh! Look at that. Perfect. Now I don't have to worry about cameras. 
at least for right now. All right, this is the chemical storeroom. All right, anybody out there want to interrupt me? Oh, one nice thing about that some of these enemies is that you're more mobile than they are. Research up. Oh, I already know about all this here. Um, there's full metal jacket rounds, and there's also jacketed hollow point rounds. I already know about this, so I'm not too concerned. Growing items. Not yet researched. Ah yes, the storeroom. Ah yes. Each deck has a chemical storeroom where you can find the resources you need to research your artifacts to find the ship. Don't try to carry around all the chemicals at once. It's impractical and unnecessary. Your research software will tell you what chemicals it needs and when. Your research software will tell you what chemicals it needs and when. Chemical manifest. Yada 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 yada. Blah blah blah. It's just a manifest. Okay, here we go. This is our first pistol in the game. I think the number, this right here means your maintenance grade. And like I said before, weapons will break. And as soon as I get the next level of a uh, Whatchamacallit. Oh, uh, more, more cyber modules. I am definitely getting research. Because you want research in the worst way. Oh, something in there. Gimme, 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 gimme. Psy hypo. A psypo? Okay, I'm never seeing it that way ever again. So we're in Pub Station 3. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Christ. As you can see, my weapon's already starting to, uh... Yeah, I already have to use my maintenance here, and it only brings it up by one point. Although, I think, later on, as we upgrade... Yeah, I think as we progress here, I think we get more, uh... I think weapons will last longer. Research one, or do I have to wait a little while? Hey, I gotta go this way, the medic base this way. All right, there's some security. cameras, so I'm not too worried. Poor dude. So what does this email say now? I got 
Yeah. I get to call around 4430 to help unload the shuttle come back from Tau City. Corinth Jin was there alone. Jesus, what the hell happened to him? He lost most of his neck. Hair, and you could see this see lumps Dr. inside Watts, of his neck and that smell. To I told him you should go see Dr. Watts, well, but he told me to mind my own business. Well, la di da. On most decks, you'll find a quantum bio reconstruction device. On most decks, you'll find a quantum bio reconstruction device. Jersey shut them all down, but I discreetly put them back on line. You'll need to interface with each machine locally to provide a, provide a quantum entanglement sample. Once you do that, the device will be able to rebuild your body essentially from scratch. It's not pleasant, but it's preferable to slow decomposition. Oh, this is just like, uh. All this is just like in the first game. Whereas if you die, you don't have to start all the way back at the beginning. You just restart from that spot, so that's very good to know. And of course, Steve's problem with ladders uh, still remains intact. And I guess I can't go inside. Oh, that's because that's a crematorium. That's a uh, that's a burner for cremation. All right, a few more minutes. A pack of uh. Oh, that's one thing I forgot to mention. This game's all in real time. Which means you don't have a lot of time to goof off. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. Yeah, that's a dead power cell, so we're gonna need that for sure. And I have to go all the way back downstairs to that one room for a recharge. Uh oh. Jerk. Hi there. Please make your selection. I wonder if I can do this. Shoddy. It's a shame we can't uh, repair weapons this way. Yeah. Seconds. Got it. All right, I gotta try. Like I said, this game there's a lot more to do. This game than there was in the first. Ooh, strength booster. Can't go wrong with that. Now we're piercing rounds. Ooh. What's I forgot what audio auto uh or ammo change is. E. Got it. Armor piercing rounds. Ah, Jesus. Christ almighty. I don't think enemies respawn. Well, oh, very strong vodka. Hi there. 
Please make your selection. Thank you for choosing value. Thank you for choosing. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Thank you for choosing value wrap. And I don't think hypos stack, meaning that you can Ah, Jesus. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't think they stack. Anyways, we gotta get back to that one room. That's where I came from. All right, there we go. Got the power cell recharged. And I think energy weapons can be restored this way too. As I think. to the first game. get research. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. Ah, 
Jesus. Now, how does that work here? I mean, I was... Wow, this game has some weird quirks. I'm not going to waste time to try to explain it. Bulkhead, then I guess. Security system online. something I really want to learn is the heal and that's gonna be the most crucial because there's not enough items in this game to keep you well stocked oh we're here good you managed to get into right, what you want now now find grassy and get the key card good good you've managed, managed to get, get into it now find grassy and get now the key card to the crew sector the key card to he's the, the one who's monitoring your cryosleep so he you might be interested in sleep if he so hasn't he been butchered yet, that's reassuring. If he hasn't been butchered yet, I already know about access cards. And I like because I'm not really that keen on psi energy, so let's use healing. Oh, that's right. There's. Oh, good. I got six. Perfect. Some strange, some strange phenomena. phenomena. Your R grade cyber rig has, has an experimental perception. I can theoretically detect resi residual psychic emanations. These emanations traditionally come from the recently dead. dead. Literature might call them ghosts. I call them self hypnotic defects of the R grade. Don't let it distract you from the job at hand. Thanks. Whoa. Oh, I should have anticipated this. You little monkeys. Radiation. Oh yeah, we're gonna be encountering that a lot too. Just like in the first game.
Oh, Jesus, that's a turret. That was close. Surgical units. Most surgical units on board are used for diagnostic purposes. However, if you attach a surgical unit, activation key to one, it may be used to heal you of all damage. Be aware that these keys are not easy to locate. Yeah, thanks for uh, pointing that out, Captain Obvious. And I think they do cost you, so make sure you have some money on hand. Always give me a headache. I have an idea about the beginning of the Delacroix. This place is falling apart. Members of my team keep disappearing. The leaks in the vending shaft shorten out. My access channel. That means we'll all be on auxiliary power until we can get it back up. That means all the lifts are up. Mary, where the hell are you? Yeah, Mary, where are you? I can't raise anybody down in engineering, but the lift's out. I'll need to get the down there through the emergency conduit through the science channels. I think the access code is in Watts' lab. The access code is in Watts' lab. Angela, while it may appear that the lab monkeys are communicating with each other, I assure you it's quite impossible. You claim that one monkey signed the Pasco for a supply closet to another, and the latter. Proceeded to open. As I'm sure you know, there have been literally been tens sure of thousands know, of studies of primary intelligence. There's no evidence of behavior even remotely that sophisticated. So either you're single-handedly trumped the entire field of animal behaviorists, or you're badly in need of a vacation. I'd say both. Oh, I think I know what to do with this. Ta-da! Alright, anyways, now that I got enough, now I can go back and get that re- Ooh, what's that? I wanna get that, I wanna get that, I wanna get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ten nanites, perfect. here trying to figure out exactly where uh monkeys again? Not an ICU? Intensive care unit. Cheeky little monkeys, aren't they? gun. Where do these all come? Where do they all come from? Is 
Stay away from me. This isn't gonna end well, but luckily for me, I can get to a med station. You can't. Monkeys. You little. Uh, how? Well, that doesn't matter because I can come back to life and do this. Ta da! Five nanites using healing. A oh, cheeky little, uh. You little blokes, aren't you? Well, you know what? Since I destroyed that camera... My God, there was a lot of them. It just all appeared out of nowhere. I'm heading back, and I'm re doing research here. Because I need research in the worst way. I'm not kidding. And I'm even more surprised that there was no... Uh, <sighs> security thing to hack. I'm very surprised. Yeah, because I need research in the worst way. No, I'm not doing Psy. Nope. Yes. All right. Looks like I got a little bit of peace here. I think the higher the research, the faster, the faster the reports come. Best target the hybrid for maximal damage. All damage you deal to hybrids will be increased by 25%. Analysis. DNA structure indicates that this organism is a hybrid of a human host and a parasitic organism. Although the parasite resembling a yarn-long worm has deteriorated to a stage beyond useful analysis, the effects of the process are evident. Severe deterioration of higher level mental processes is caused by tum tumorous growths along the spinal column and brainstem. The non-human tissues seem to be formed of a composite of small worm-like creatures that have adapted into the host body and taken over a majority of motor control and decision-making functions. There also appears to be direct stimulation of the auto autonomic nervous and glandular systems. Hence, the organism produces exceptional amounts of both adrenaline and endorphins, making it resi remarkably strong and aggressive. Or what remains cannot be really called human at all. The damage done to the host by process is irrevocable, and the organism now functions with no sense of morality or hesitation recommendation. The organism is vulnerable to the same forms of stimuli as a human. However, the changes in its physiology suggest a chemistry more complex than it is currently understood. Further analysis of similar organisms might provide more insight in this area. Hmm. Oh, I'll take it with. Let's research this thing. Now we'll need for research. Okay, so I gotta go back to the chemical storeroom. FM. That's back upstairs.
Capernaum. Oh, that's later. All right, never mind. God, this is so boring. Oh, sorry for the slugs. I think that's for the shotgun. Like I said it before, this game is not easy, but it rewards itself when all is said and done. Swine keeper, corn attracts swine. Don't step on corn. Flag the corn. Oh, this is just a parody of a uh, minesweeper. Huh. Hacking skill six required. Ah, like that's gonna happen. Like I'm all the way in here. Let's just keep moving. Yeah, I know that. I have it right here. I'm gonna take another one just in case it decided to say, "Hey, I need some more." Fermium, not Fernium. Fermium. I gotta go through med. Monkeys, where are ya? Yeah, that scares the bejesus out of me here, and there's no hacking system anywhere. Thankfully, healing is cheap, so I'm not terribly concerned. Bad monkey. Bad monkey. That's what you get. Get back here, you little turd. Yeah, it's a... Yeah, that'll teach ya. Oh, of course, the, secu the hack was right here. Ooh, that's radiation. I gotta stay out of there. Oof. Okay, so I need a radiation suit for that. Yeah, I don't want to, uh... Armor. Armor can help you both in protection and damage from environmental. Okay, so I already know about the variations here. Oh, are you kidding me? Fire strength of two? Really? Just for light armor? That's ridiculous. What else did I pick up? So just like with the, uh, learn how to best target the monkeys for maximal, maximal damage. And again, blah, blah, blah. The monkey is genetically normal, an African squirrel monkey. However, it appears to have been subject to a large number of chemical and surgical procedures, both before and after birth. These procedures have enhanced brain size and connectivity, as well as enhanced the myelination of the central nervous system. The skull of this creature has been surgically removed, presumably both to prevent cranial pressure and to allow quick experimental access. Recommendation. The neural construction of the creature is similar in nature to cyanic human neural structure. 
monkeys are likely to have cyanic capability. They are vulnerable to all attacks which affect standard organic creatures. So which means they're not that much more difficult to fight. So we're in biopsy. Ah! Jesus! I hate surprises. Stay down here. I'm not gonna have too many problems. I don't see a camera here. Oh Jesus! Five ice nodes. That's what happens when you fail. I'm probably sure whatever was inside would have been useful. Oh, Jesus, that's not what I wanted. I'm go right here. Yeah, it doesn't exactly help matters, uh, in this situation. Crap, 150 lab ones make a day. Poor chimps, they come up to the board for the most historic mission of all time. They end up being chopped into little pieces in the name of progress. Animal rights activists are, would lose their minds. Was this the other room that had radiation in it? No. Two before, now I can go to deck two. Good. Perfect. You've made it into the crew 
crew sector. Now find Dr. Watts. Good, you made it to the crew sector. Now find Dr. Watts. Crew sector. But you now get out of here, you stupid hybrid. Ah, oh, Christ alive. Give me a freaking heart attack. Oh, you know what? I can do this instead. Back to full strength. Ugh. Oh, I'm glad that part's over for now. A magazine. Oh, it's probably just a useless piece of junk. Six standard bullets and a new email. Let's see what this has to say. We have picked up a transmission from the surface of Tau-65. We have picked up a transmission from the surface of Tau-65. I have been in negotiation with Captain Diego of the Rickenbacker, and after some caution, he's agreed to go plan inside as a joint venture. Imagine his historic mission might even become more historic. First contact. First contact. Who is there to get exclusive rights to all media? And man, Triathlon, Miri, I told you this would be worth it. Miri, I told you this would be worth it. I bet. I bet. I bet it was. Ooh, look at all this. Cigarettes? Ah, you don't have anything of use. Moving on. Oh. A multi picture. Oh man, there's nothing in there. Yeah, I'm not very interested in voice upgrades, but I am interested in this, though. sub-armored code. So like before, I have two minutes to, uh, I just want to upgrade this. Perfect. Another magazine picked up. Oh, I forgot to mention this 
I can only choose one upgrade. Just gotta make this very careful. Extra 20% benefit from all hypos. Very handy, if I do say so myself. What? Oh, it costs money to hack this stupid thing? Really? Well, I guess. I mean, hey, you gotta pay, you gotta pay for this too, you know. Security forces have been alerted to your presence, intruder. The glory of the many. Your capture yes. Oh, Jesus. Proximity grenade. Getting that door shut. Are you kidding? Never mind. I mean, you don't get refunded either. I'll just have to wait. Another magazine. Can you get out of here? As I was stating before, yeah, weapons will jam. Problem that now everyone's on board trying to kill me, and not to mention I'm broke. I'm out of money. Oh. 
Ground Boost Implant. I wonder what that does. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out. Implant uses increases the strength by one, burning up 1% of its charge every 10 seconds. All right. I don't know if I can recharge this though, that's just it. Jesus. I so did not ask for that. But lucky I have plenty of... I do have some hypos, so... There we go. 20 nanites. <laughs> Better be worth it. You know what I mean. Alright. Let's keep going. Sure. Watts isn't here, so he's probably in his office in the R&D sector. Maybe he's got a backup R&D card in here. Take a look around. Good work. I'm uploading some cybernetic modules. Find an upgrade unit as soon as you can and improve your rig. I want this email that you uh, sent me. Watts is in here, so he's probably in his so office in the R&D Maybe he's got back of R&D card. Maybe he's Take got a look around. Take a look around. All right, so off to research and development. I know there is a way in there. Good. Jesus alive. Ah, forget it. I'm not gonna waste it unless I can get another hack upgrade. Monkey brain.
and I need repair for sure. Now that I look back, I probably should have gotten the repair upgrade at the beginning. Superb idea. Gotcha. No cheap shots from you, mister. At this point, I am going to need a... Whatchamacallit. Research and development. Oh, it's over this way. Ah, that's much better. is this way. Not here. I gotta go around. Ah, another shotgun that's jammed. Like I said, this game really needed a block button. Hopefully uh, with the remake, I'll add one. Like I said, I am really looking 
forward to the uh, remake of this game. Ooh, a bit overcharge. That's all right. That's okay. So instead of a hundred volt, now I got hundred and ten. Stop giving me jammed shotguns here, for God's sakes. So where is the research and development door? Funny, I saw the door earlier. I don't know where it is. Oh, that's just science sector. Who cares? Yeah, this is greater, I'm getting items, but I'm also wasting a lot of energy. Hi there. Please make your selection. Hi there. Please make your selection. Reinitialized. Well, I'm only one nanite short for getting the hacking module. This sucks. I saw, I remember seeing it a moment ago. Now I forgot where it is. Go figure, eh?
Here we go. Here's research and development. Please make your selection. No hacking this time. Nice. You have not disappointed me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. What? Ah, Christ. Potential threat detected. Potential threat detected. How's that to know? doing I've been out of touch, but I've been working on that artifact Bayless brought back from Tau 75. I've done a level 3 analysis on it. I think it's some kind of artificial intelligence. I've managed to pull an audio tag file out of its memory. I'll let you be the judge, Murray. I think it's speaking in English. Anatoly, there's only so much corporate calisthenics I can go through before I start to feel a bit queasy. Feel a little queasy, so let's get down to brass tacks here. We don't like each other. We each have our own motivation. We're undertaking this mission, so let me give you a little warning. I cannot be circumvented. I cannot be tricked. I cannot be manipulated. And I cannot be bought. You come at me straight and keep the fancy maneuvers for your next board meeting. Just because my father swam with the sharks doesn't mean that I do. Keep the fancy maneuvers for your next board meeting. Just because my father swam with the sharks doesn't mean that I do. security down. Might as well destroy the camera. There. All right. Come up here, stupid. Where'd he go?
Whoa, Jesus. Two you logs. The time is 1670. Autopsy subject. A Watson. Now we're going to first decision. Hold him down, Nez. Hold him down. Hey. Alright, calm down. down the access code to the conduit is 12451. I got an autopsy at 1634. Let's grab a beer on the recreation deck afterwards. Sound good? Let's grab a beer on the recreation deck afterwards. Sound good? Oof. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna save it right here. This is a good save for right now. Um, thank you to those who watched. I'll see you all next time. Oh, and one thing I forgot to point out is that a multiplayer. Anyways, see y'all next time.